I am representing the lineage of Master Tony Diego of Illustrismo. Okay, so for those who want to train or learn Filipino martial arts, train the old ways, not after certificates because now people goes after certificates. Training for three days as certificates, by the way, because according to Grandmaster Tata before, certificates cannot block against the attack of the opponent. From the past, I would like to say thank you so much to my teacher, Tata, Jesusimo, and also with Bang Tony for uh, teaching me. Or uh, it's more than uh, inherit; it's a big gift from them that given to me. Cause you know what, this kind of work that I have today, teaching, it helps me a lot for my family. Not 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 only for traveling around the world, but I use this as my bread and butter for my family. So thank you so much, Master uh, Tatang Ilusosimo and Master Tony, for, for, for the gift that you're giving to me. Uh, actually, I was born in Manila when I was five, uh, five years old. My parents brought me to Cebu, so I grew up in Cebu from five years old to 16 years old. So, this is Redonda. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We are one, two, three, four, and five. Next, angle of one, two, three, four, five. Next, Planchada, one, two, three, four. Five. Next, Arabes. One, two, three, four, and five. I am based now in Manila, in Tundo. Okay, when I was young, my hobbies is I like to play basketball. And I like martial arts too. That's all my hobbies when I was young. Footworks, we just try. Ritirada and Takada. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's the real. Same footwork. One, two, three, four, Five. Angle up. One, two, three, four, five. Planchada. One, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, role models mean like an idol. Oh uh, uh, yeah, first because I love sports, I love boxing. So my first, uh, my first idol was Sugar Ray Leonard and uh, Muhammad Ali. And I also like play basketball at the time. So I like Larry Bird and uh, what else? Uh, yeah, Magic Johnson.
Uh, for now, I am uh, teaching Screamer. Because before I was working uh, in a company, but uh, lots of work, but lot, uh, less salary. Two, I go like this. So it's like redonda, angulo, utik. Okay? Redonda, angulo, utik to the eyes. Then utik to the groin and cut our other side. Okay, again. So one side, redonda, angulo, utik, utik low. Arc to other side. And then start this side. Rapidon. Angulo. Abaniko high. Abaniko low. And arc. Okay. Bring down that. Angulo. Tick high. Tick low. Arc reverse. Rapidon. Angulo. Abaniko high. Abaniko low. Arc. Okay. If we may. First, if, uh, I trained Illustrissimo since 1990. I uh, officially joined 1993, but during 90s, I was there in Luneta and uh, keep on watching these groups. And then uh, when one guy approached me, he said like, oh, you're there for, for how many years? Why not in, uh, come and train with us? So 1993 is my official training with the Illustrissimo. I am representing the lineage of Master Tony Diego of Illustrious Move. First, this is how the two targets are sent here. Okay, this is one, two, three, four, then five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, then ten eyes, eleven eyes for the tier, twelve temple. Okay, so target one is the ear. One, hip, two, three, four at the side of the ear, five, six, chest, seven, chest, eight, belly, nine, ten, eleven, and ten for twelve. So one, two, hip, three, ten for four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So one. Okay, then triangle two. Right, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and two, and twelve. Okay, again. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, all through, and 12. Okay. This is what we call 12 targets with power of foot rock. Next, this time our foot rock is contra. So against the flow of our weapon. I go like this. 1, now on the left. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Again, for so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10, 11, and 2. Okay, so those are the 12 targets with footwork. I have a short uh, uh, time with Tatan because 1993 and he died in 1997. So that time, I have a chance to accompany Tata from Luneta to my house for a lunch and then bring him to his house. So when I was in house, this is the time that he showed me some movements and techniques. Uh, I, can, I can forget the way we train because during that time, he has uh, low control. The, the ice is not too clear for him uh, for, the, for Tata that time. So he hits me here, so I have still a scar here. And then he, he hits the walls. So whatever I try to make an attack, he hits me every time. So that's why my most memorable that I can forget about Tata. Okay. When it comes to Master Tony, I have a lot of memorable things with Mount Tony. The first time when I, when he invited me to continue his training, to continue training under under him after Tatan's death, uh, the for, uh, after the training, the first meeting we have, so I have to pay him, but he didn't accept it. He said like, if you force me to give that, we're not friends. So I will not accept that because from now we'll, we'll be friends. So, and then he lots of, uh, uh, advice to me one, 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 uh, once you teach don't ask too much about foreigners because it's better to have friends than after money so that is his I can I can never forget uh, with Master Tony okay this is the basic counter form so we just imagine someone in front of us do the top, uh, strikes and we do a basic counter attack so, so against number one hit the arm against number two defense I guess number three on the best. I guess number four, Rosada. Now, number five is thrust of parry and hit. Now, it's here. Now, number six is a thrust of the chest. So, guide the tip vertical open. Number seven, thrust of the chest. First thing we're gonna do is cut the arm and do 45. And then the eight is crochet, uh, thrust of crochet. So, the, 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 uh, the position where we're pointing down, black, and then push the left hand. Okay, number nine is our best. So our counter arabesque is right into the face. Okay, and then 10 is thrust with the same like number 6. We guide the tip between. Okay, careful not lifting up because if you do lifting up, just imagine you're guiding the blade into your face. So guide the blade away from you, then open. Then 11, cut. And we go number 12 is coming here. From this position, we go Friday. Okay, the left hand is pushing the weapon hand and then the weapon, flexing the weapon, go point, flip, okay, again, so, go, one, defense two, three, four, five, and six, go seven, eight, crochet, nine, ten, vertical push open, eleven, cut, and then try left, so, one, yeah, two, defense, three, cut, four, crossada, five, six, vertical, seven, forty five, cut, eight, crochete, yeah, nine, all the way to the face, yeah, ten, eleven, and twelve, Friday. Like. Okay, so those are the basic counter attack against this, no targets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so since I'm training with Master Tony, he's the one who molded me uh, to become an instructor. The way he trains is like, uh, uh, he loves to do drills to make a mass uh, for a repetition of the system. So drills, according to him, is part of the repetition, repetition, and repetition if it was perfect.
This is uh, a blade-oriented system. So Master Tony told me how to, he teaches us how to properly guide and use the blade. So at the end of the fight, it will not become a, a bit of, of, uh, of a shark. So he advised us to practice with swords than the stick. Now what's up the thrust? Thrust to the chest. Okay. So you here, don't thrust, thrust, thrust. Don't go in this footwork. See That's why I would say 45. Okay. So it's against thrust, 45. Go. Okay. This one here is a thrust here. Now I go sideways because I'm using my left hand to parry. Go. Because from here, I cannot parry because I'm touching the blade. So I do need to parry here. So I just cut and move out and not sideways because if I go sideways, boom. I send it here. So my footwork is there. My footwork is literally at the side and cut at the same time. Your arm. Okay. Now, take note of this. Thrust from here, it should be inside thrust. Because if it goes outside, it's an under defense. And the hand should be here. It happens that your hand is here. That's why you guard the tip that way. Okay, not this way. Oh, it's dangerous. So you have to move out the center and then same footwork is not go straight inside. It will be sideways to maintain your distance. Okay, take, uh, take note of this because usually they collect this. Accident happened. So sideways and then if it cuts 10, uh, 11, same, I go for five. And then 12. But make it so that the target is here so that the Friday can be applied. So that one push it here. Because if the target changes here and then you do Friday, Friday doesn't work anymore. So there's another defense for that. That's why it's very important is to emphasize the cut. Because every angle there's a specific defense. Like this one, so I can go with my Friday. Now if it's center cut, if I go Friday, that's it. So another defense for this, show you to this book at the room. Okay, but on the meantime, we go to Friday. Okay, so here we have sword. First we have sword and we have sword and dagger. And then we have the double sword. And they have the put with those manos, uh, along state at the chest level. And then any weapon. We we'll practice also with holding a uh, baseball bat. And uh, uh, also uh, about knife, knife defense, not knife killing, it's knife defense. Actually, we don't have to choose any kinds of weapon. Whatever weapon available on the side, if it's needed, then we use it. Either no specific, like it should be parong, it should be pinote, it should be whatever, as long as it's sharp. Uh, tatang, he said Tatang loves parong, Pang Tony loves uh, pinote, but uh, to me, whatever is available around, then I must know how to use it. Uh, first, we do the strikes first. Pop. Contra footwork. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now, continue to the counter. One, two, three, four, five, then six, forty-five. 7, then 8, 9, 10, 45 again, 11, and then slides 12. Okay, take note of this. Another thrust here in two pixel form. Because this is a clash. So this is the form of my way. Cover and move from the eye. Now, this one is thrust. 
If I go this position like this, passing it goes in. Okay, that's why. A vertical position put in down block. So now if it, if it tries to continue to push, now it goes in. Okay, so this is very important position here then. I don't be pushing anyone up too much. I should push this way down. Because if I go it here, no, it goes there. So the right way of doing this one, get this way from push down, and then you can do a thrust. Okay, uh, first, I like the, the defund things because it uh, answers different kinds of angles of the attack. And then uh, when Master Tony told us about the uh, Fondo, uh, he leave us with the form the time because he's dying, he's sick. Now, I was thinking that what's next after this? So after the form, I made a follow-up strike of the Defondo. So it's now I, I, I put some, uh, add some movement of one to, what one Tony leaves for us, the Defondo, because before it's only form, Australia, Vertical, Crusada, and after that, okay, how about Australia, and then there's a follow-up strike. That's why I like the Defondo. Here's a good description. Okay, so as I said, like first they go forms, Macedo Tidas forms, Australia, vertical, Rosada. So now I was thinking that I will not survive with this kind of movement. So of course as 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 uh, time go on, you have to evolve. So I just find here Australia, then I can cut. After this one I can cut and then do some follow-up strikes. Or I can have some vertical, then after that, okay, I could go a different kinds of combinations. I can I can uh, add the movement coming from the the mother techniques. First strike first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now let's do the basic counter. Forty-five. One. Then side two. Then forty-five again. Three. And again, four, sideways, five, sideways, six, seven, forty-five, eight, eight, nine, we can add again, ten, slide, eleven, forty-five, and twelve, eight. Okay, one, angulo, angulo, alaves, alaves, two, angulo, angulo, alaves, alaves, three, angel, angel, hit, hit, four, <laughs> angel, angel, five, six, Seven, eight, yeah, nine, ten, eleven, and we go twelve. Nice. Okay. We try to reverse the combination. Like that. So what? Angle best, angle best, angle, angle, two. Alga best, alga best, angulo, angulo, three. Alga best, alga best, angulo, angulo, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. 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 Well done. Well done. <laughs> okay, by doing seminars from local and abroad, and then every time I do seminars, I'm always saying Tony Diego Linitz. So I say, okay, what I share to you here is Illustrismo by Tony Diego system. So that's how I propagate the system of this by by my lineage. And again.
Okay, Chi Romans Calist Illustrissimo Repetition Original. So one day, we were training at the Binondo Gym with Master Tony, and then uh, Master Romy came, and he, he, they were talking about Master Tony. Uh, pare, they called it Pare, or brother. We should uh, formalize the name of the system. Okay, like, because lots of people now pretending they're, they're Illustrissimo. So how about Calist Illustrissimo Original? And then Master Tony said, "Oh no, we should put, we should uh, don't forget the the old man's or the family system, the repetition." So that's why they said, "Oh, what is Kalis Illusimo original repetition?" So like Kior, then like no, that the proper way is Kalis Illusimo repetition original. So that is where started the name of uh, Tony Diego's system, Kalis Illusimo repetition original. Once you memorize all the answers of that. Now you get a random answer. Either that I start attack here, then I do here, then I do here, then I do here, or I go to number one, then I go to number eight right away, and then I go to number five, and then I go to number six, and then I get number three again, or I go to number four, two, or I go to number five. Uh, if it if it's a random attack, one second press, or I think that's your muscle memory. Okay, because in the streets, there is no such thing. Or you attack my other one. Because he can, can attack. This is my other one, this is my other two. Okay. Now, the, the reason of those exercises are for you and other people. Sometimes my hand is here. Then the attack, trust me here. If I bring here, because oh, this is now your rock, this is late. So from this situation, then I can react by using my other Now, if my hand is here, ready, then I don't need to bring. Now, it's 9 hours to go, so I can just drop my weapon right away. Okay. okay, we have few. We only have few instructors from the world. Because here in the Illustrissimo, we don't give right away certificates and to become instructor. So it needs them to, to train, to train, to train. And not just he knows about Australia, Critical, Rosada, but he should know deeper more than that, that how to use Australia, in what situation we use the vertical, and then he knows how to move, he knows how to answer questions, and then that's the time that maybe we can give them, first is uh, you are a backyard instructor, second is like uh, assistant instructor, and then before you become instructor, but you have to come and train and train and train, so we don't have those uh, uh, after three years or after 20 years you become a instructor. It depends how it depends how this This student pick up the training now if he's good and he trains every day Then maybe you can have after three years he becomes an instructor The steady see here the movement of this is Down and up oh. But if I put it here now two movements because they go like this and then they go up So since this is already down, I don't need to bring it down more so up Okay, so I'm just imagining against the targets again. So against one, I parry, sort, two, block and thrust. Okay, three, now a block, sort and cut right here. Four, and go for side. Five, parry, so on. Six, I go vertical and then the dagger pushes. Now this time you can touch now the sword because you have the dagger. So seven, you can part it now. Okay, seven. Then eight, after nine, ten, push, eleven, part of the sword, and turn, front leg with the thrust. Okay, front leg, then there's a thrust. Okay, so we have books. Okay, so our first book is already out. We call it uh, Australia One, Mga Turo ni Tony Diego. So it means teaches uh, drills that teaches by Master Tony Diego. And then the second book is coming, and this November they call it uh, the Fondo Drills again. Pangaturo ni Tony Diego series two. But uh, before for pandemic time, we do some Zoom online, and then if people wants to buy that bid uh, that Zoom, they can buy it through Guru Ramon. So it will be one, two, three uh, series. So yeah, so we're more on books this time. Uh, 
I hope they train properly. They do KI properly because now lots of people pretending or bringing KI uh, using Tata or Master Tony. Hopefully they learn the proper way, uh, proper way of uh, propagating illustration. So one, so the head is here. So the uh, uh, black layer is lower than the sort because if I'm here, near top, that's what's gonna happen. So from here, but hook one. Okay, so hooking and then everything. Okay, so one, two, now defense and thrust. Three, now my double jump, start. Boom, 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 boom. Here, so this is the form. My double jump. Okay, I'm not doing this way because, okay, this is this way. Here. So number three and nine is from China. This is the position of my table, my data. Then four. So this is how do I do it. I'm using the back. Okay, I'm not using this kind of form here because it will stack the finger. Okay? okay. So when I when I use my back because I use the back. Okay? Okay, because if I use this kind of push now, to do it uh, slide the right to my finger. Okay? So four and then here. Okay, five. Take note that this one will be in the vertical. Not this way because you'll be sparring with one. That should be in this position. Okay? Then I can say six. This time, you, you don't need to go it here because you have now a dagger. Then you can push the dagger there. Okay, number seven. So you say, okay, you have a dagger here, you can use two daggers to fire this time. Okay, so you don't, you don't need to go farther this time. So you just side it, fire it. Okay, eight, that block, still, up. Okay, eight. Now, eight more. Number nine is uh, under the stack. Number three is Plansada. Plansada, so uh, this is the form of the double. Okay, nine on the best. If I use the same form, I just put the slice on the finger. Okay, so the double now changes to this form. Elbow out so that it will go far through. Then it was safe. Okay, so number nine and here. Then again, ten, two, and then two. Eleven, four, plus, very good, twelve. Plus, very good. Okay, so that's another special technique at the end of the last year. We call it blue one. Plus the seven, so it's here. Control, push, and then hit. Okay, but this, this kind of movement needs. I actually time to practice the repeat and put it here. Because somebody did like this right here. You see the, the, the form, but that they put it here right away. Now that's not the proper way, so it is time. For the meantime, let's go carry this class. Okay. Recently, I met Benny Chen, and I have a chance to talk with him, and he tells about his experience. Oh, I really admire this guy. He's very humble. When I asked him how many fights do you have, he said, I'm not counting my fights. I'm counting my defense, uh, defense fight, he said. So, because there are lots of fights, he said. Sometimes they're sparring, but they counted into fights. So, he said, like, when I heard his stories, I, I, I inspired this man. Hopefully, I can do, like, what he did someday. Okay, so for those who wants to train or learn Filipino martial arts, train the old ways, don't after certificates, because now people go after certificates. Training for three days, ask certificates, by the way, because according to Grandmaster Tata before, certificates cannot block against the attack of the opponent. You should know the knowledge. So it means certificate is nothing if we don't know the knowledge of the martial arts or system we want to train for. So don't hurry. Practice, practice, and patience, and then until you become a good martial artist. So, well, it's a time. So, case number one. So, hook and slash. Two, cross and defend. Three, now this time is still dark, black, and then slow, don't cut. 
four, push the back, five, one, six, vertical, and then double push, seven, parry, double parry, and then slash. Okay, eight, nine, now position of your dagger, horizontal, cut the face, and again, ten, and push, eleven, parry, slash, very good, twelve. Okay, last time. For me, it likes. Okay, first thing is I can travel around the world for free. Uh, of course, I earn money from a little bit, not too much. And then I use this for uh, for my family, for my kids in school. Of course, again, travel free. I meet I meet the different kinds of people, uh, different different places. So for me, it's a lifestyle. Okay, uh, I want to be rem remembered to the community of Philippine martial arts, especially those people who made and trained with me. That I'm not abusing them, I'm not taking advantage from from them. Uh, whatever it is, uh, yeah, I'm not taking advantage. I train hard with heart, and then uh, yeah, I think uh, they should remember like that. That I am friendly. I when I teach. I teach with my heart. I don't after the money. Sometimes they ask me how much it costs. So the only thing I say, if you're happy, you give me 10 peso. If you're not happy, you give me one peso. That's it. <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three. Okay, one, and two, then three. Okay, good work. And then one, and two, and three, still, two, and Back, three, and then back to four. Okay, same. I go four, then over here, all this space on the corner. Five, boom. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I go twelve. Bam! Then I go here. Okay, so I'm not staying this. Go big to the game. Three rounds. Okay, okay uh, from the past, I would like to say thank you so much to my teacher, Tata, and also with Bang Tony for uh, teaching me. Or uh, It's more than uh, inherit. It's a big gift from them that given to me because, you know what, this kind of work that I have today, teaching, it helps me a lot for my family. Not, not, not only for traveling around the world, but I use this as my bread and butter for my family. So thank you so much, Master Tatang uh, Ilusosimo and Master Tony, for 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 the gift that you're giving. From the concept of the dog strikes or dog angles. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, push, seven, parry, eight, crochet, nine, okay, ten, push, eleven, parry, and we go twelve. With the fry leg. Okay, again. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, push, seven, hurry, eight, crochet, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so this is the forms.
press one, you only do the first. This time, follow us right. So, one, slash, slash, thrust. Okay, take note, if we are left foot forward, we have a pop up thrust. Then, two, slice to the right, then slash, slash, a thrust. Now we have palm down. Okay, so every time we go to the left foot forward, the key is palm up, right foot is palm down. Okay, again. Go. So, one, slash, slash, thrust. And pull your web, uh, pull your dagger after. Then, two, then slash, slash, thrust. Then four. Okay, three, up, slash, slash, thrust. Then one again. Four, slash, slash, thrust. There we go. Five, hurry. And slash, slash, and thrust. Okay, here we go. Six, vertical. Then slash, slash, and come down. Okay, seven, hurry. Slash, slash, Power. There we go. Eight. Slash, slash, thrust. Nine. All the best. Then angulo, angulo, thrust. Ten. Vertical. Angulo, angulo, thrust. Eleven. Barrio slash. Angulo, angulo, thrust. There we go. Twelve. Power first. Then slash, slash, finish with a palm down. Okay. Again. <coughs> Go one, slash, slash, thrust. Two, slash, slash, thrust. Three, slash, slash, thrust. Pump up four, slash, slash, pump down. Five, slash, slash, pump up. Six, vertical, slash, slash, pump down. Seven, parry, slash, slash, thrust, pump up. Eight, Slash, slash, palm down. Nine, slash, slash, palm up. Ten, vertical, slash, slash, thrust, palm down. Eleven, slash, slash, palm up. And we go twelve. Slash, slash, and palm down. Okay, only I can see is those who want to train uh, Filipino martial arts, train it hard, respect your instructor, respect your teacher. Give credit to where you learn the system. Don't say this is by my grandfather. Okay, so again, no, no after certificates. You have to train hard to make it to be a master or not not master title to master the the, the system that you want to learn. Then again, once you become a teacher, no, don't after money. Then teach with heart and share with share it with people. It's repetition and repetition to make it perfect. So again, thank you so much and I hope you learned something and you enjoy. I would like to say thank you to Sir Steve. Thank you. Yay. Yay. And if, uh, and, uh, guys for coming here. Thank you so much. Yay. So everyone, I uh, hope to see you again. Hopefully, uh, God's will next year. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. 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 Thank you.